Hey guys, um, so we have made it through, and I mean, I have, I this is such a long, <laughs> and I've broken this up so much that I haven't really introduced it. So if you're ever caught in the middle of this, this is a part of my long lecture for EKG, but hopefully this will break down um, uh, what we've all been waiting for, which is how do we actually read these things? So I've gone through um, all the different parts of an EKG. I've gone through normal rhythms. I've gone through abnormal rhythms. I've gone through procedures and other treatments. We've done some case studies. Now let's try to see if we can actually look at a picture and figure out what rhythm it is. Um, so like I mentioned earlier in one of my other videos, I tried to come up with a systematic way like, hey, there's a really simple basic way to interpret this rhythm. And I found that there is no simple like perfect basic way to interpret a rhythm. Like, you know, there's no perfect algorithm. There's so many like great territories and well kind of or yeah usually um so there's no perfect way but if you can kind of follow these um general principles a lot of times we can break down because again you don't have to know all the rhythms in this class um there's only certain ones we're doing so this will hopefully help you to at least be able to at this level do these kind of rhythms i do have other videos for more complex rhythms like blocks and stuff like that you do not have to know heart blocks by the way so if you're studying them you are studying too deep um, but, um, the general things, and I'll break this up into different, um, little mini videos is first, we want to figure out what is our rate. We want to count the QRSs like we've been doing. And is it fast or slow? Cause there's certain rhythms that are going to be fast rhythms and slow rhythms that can start to help me to categorize. Okay. What were my slow rhythms? What were my fast rhythms? Um, regularity. Remember there was only one rhythm that was not regular, um, uh, for my atrial rhythms, that was my atrial fibrillation. So like, if I can start to kind of break down, is it regular, or irregular, it can start telling me which rhythm it is. Um, regular P waves. This is a lot to see. Is there a top of the heart problem? Um, you know, a lot of times, or is there a regular P waves, um, can tell me a lot about, um, if I'm at like an atrial fibrillation, or maybe if I'm a ventricular rhythm, um, and I'm missing my P waves. Um, and then the other thing is, is looking at the QRS, is it skinny or fat? And so we're going to look at each of these. Each of these is going to provide us with some key details, and then we'll do some practice together. So the first, if I can get the slide to move. All right, there you go. So the first thing is, is counting the heart rate. Now, I through most of these videos, I've kind of already showed you how to do this, um, but I'm going to go through it again. And especially if this is maybe where you're starting, um, this is a great place to start. Um, is, is you want to know, I, I need to know what my rate is because my rate tells me a lot about a rhythm. So to count a heart rate, the way that we do it is, uh, there's multiple ways to do it, by the way, but the probably the simplest way is just to go through and count these pointy things at the top. So um, remember, assume every strip we give you on an exam is going to be a six second strip. We're not expecting you to count it out, to figure it out by yourself. Ooh, I think the color. Oh yeah. I think it's because it's, it's really late when I'm making these videos. And so now if it seems like my skin is lighter and brighter, it's just because my, um, nightlight thing that I have turned on. So I don't go blind from astigmatism because of staring at a screen so much, um, it turned off. So now everything is, instead of being like, kind of like a reddish color, now it's, it's normal and white, but I'm not used to seeing it. So <laughs> I'm going to have to turn it off after this. Um, but anyway, um, it's not, an, it's not bad enough where I need to turn off mid video. So to, the best, um, simplest way to figure out a heart rate is to, um, again, assume if, for, at least for when we do for our test, whatever is on the strip, you're just going to have to count however many pointy things there are. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you take it, there is seven pointy things. We're going to times it by 10. So I have a heart rate of 70. Um, so students always ask this, what if something's right in the middle? We're not going to give you something where it's kind of half in, half out, but usually the, the general rule is, is if you have a full QRS complex, you usually want to count it. If you just have like the end part of it, probably not. Um, and so remember, this tells me if I'm dealing with a tachycardia or a bradycardia, there's only one slow rhythm we talked about this time, and that's bradycardia. Um, there were lots of fast rhythms, but this can help me to differentiate it. Am I looking at something normal? Or am I looking at something fast? So let's get some practice together doing this rate counting together. So let's count this first one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have a rate of 80. All we're doing practicing right now is just counting the rate. Let's do this one. one well, that's a horrible circle. Two, three, four, and five. So this is a rate of 50. Um, then let's do this bottom one. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 times 10 is 100 and 
30. So we can see we've got a normal rate, we've got a more of like a bradycardia and more of a tachycardia. Um, so it's always good to get practice. Now, again, we're just doing this step by step. We're not interpreting all these rhythms um, right now, but I just want to kind of show you what you get practice in each of these skills because you really need to know how to do each of these things to help to successfully break down these rhythms. Um, so that is the first part. The next thing we're going to look at is regularity. I'll see you for that one.